All right. So the first part, we discussed a little bit of uh, the basics of a parallel circuit. And now what I want to do is throw in an example and how to solve for some of the values that we want to obtain in the circuit, such as voltage, current, powers, and total resistance. So uh, let's see. So basically what we have is a parallel circuit. We have R1 and R2. R1 is 100 ohms. R2 is 200 ohms. We know they're in parallel because this top part is the positive rail. And this is our bottom rail, and they're negative. So we have a positive and negative rail. And we know that we have two low resistors, R1 and R2. Now, parallel circuits are found everywhere. Uh, we find them in industry, we find them in residential. These are, think of these resistors as like a microwave oven, think of it as a conditioner. As you, can, as you add loads, you're adding current. Well, if you add more current, you're adding more power, adding more power, you spend more money, right? So that's why uh, we, could, we can say that this parallel circuit right here is uh, commonly used in industries such as industrial, commercial, or residential. And these loads could be anything from lights to air conditioners to anything. So in this case, we're just going to say these are standard resistors, R1 and R2, and these are 100 and 200 ohms. We have current that's going to flow into these branches. Call this IR1, and we'll call this IR2. So we know that by the by some of the facts and laws of parallel circuits that the voltage across VR1 and VR2 are going to be the same. It's going to be 10 volts. That's why VR1 and VR2 10 volts. Now to get IR1, we just use Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that we take the voltage and the resistance. We take the ratio between those two, or the, take the division of it, and we have 10 volts over 100 ohms equals 100 mils, and likewise IR2 is similar. So this means that we have 100 mils coming through here and 50 mils coming through here, through this branch here. So the sum of these two branches, some of these two branches should equal 150 mils, which it does. So we take 100 plus 150 is equal to 150. So the third thing we can do now is find our total. Our total here is just taking the, we're going to use this equation for two resistors. So we take 100 ohms times 200 ohms, and then we add 100 plus 200 ohms, and we get 66.67 ohms. Now, what's interesting on this is that the total resistance of a parallel circuit is always less than the smallest resistor. So this, our total is true based on the fact that this is smaller than the 100 ohm resistor we have up here. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, there are a way to actually check to see if my current is correct by since we add these two, sure, we can do that. And I'm gonna put it up here as a check. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put it up here as a check. So I can say I total is equal to the voltage total over resistance total. So if I take that, I take 10 volts, divide it into 66.67 ohms. So if I take 10, divide it into 66.67 ohms, I get 149, I get about 149.99 milliamps, which is very close to the uh, 150 milliamps. So we know that my, we know that the R total is good. We know that the, uh, yeah, the R total is good here. And we know that the I total, we came up here using Kirchhoff's uh, current law is good as well too. Finally, what we want to do is find the power. So power through these resistors here. So first of all, there's a couple of equations you can use. I use V squared over R. So what we're looking for is how much power these uh, loads are going to be. So if I take 10 squared over 100, well, 100 over 100 equals 1 watt. And likewise, PR2 is 10 squared over 200, or 100 over 200 is equal to half a watt. So this means that I need a minimum of 1 watt resistor right here, probably be a good idea maybe to go a little higher just because we're at the that one watt range but still would do it it'd be a little little bit warm and this r2 is a half a watt and i'll probably use a one watt resistor on here as well too the reason for that is the circuit gets older the current uh this resistance may change and the current may go up there may be some changes so we want to probably just be on the safe side you could just go with a half watt resistor and probably do fine 
likewise with the one rotten resistor right here. So, but if I was building the circuit, I would just be on the safe side and go with the two watt and also a one watt resistor. So, so if I add up uh, powers here, PR P total is equal to PR one and PR plus PR two, it gives me 1.5 watts of power. Now I could also say that P total is equal to the P total is equal to I total times it by E total or V total. So it's actually E, we're gonna actually use V, but actually it is E. So remember V and E are interchangeable. That's voltage. We use E and AC and V and DC quite often. So I'm just gonna keep it the way we've been doing things here for a while. So I total is equal to 150 milliamps times it by 10 volts that gives me 1.5 watts of power because I moved the decibel place over two places one two 1.5 all right so if there's any other questions about a parallel circuit please feel free to outreach to me thank you